Gamtana, who calls herself a garment constructor, grew up with a desire to design clothing. Gamtana relates how she was always criticized by her parents for the way she used to cut clothes and make her own designs. I don't know if it's ever considered a talent when you start, because you start with cutting up things and uh, your parents don't like that. You're cutting up your new clothes, you're cutting up everything because you're trying to make something new. So you get uh, shouted at a little bit, like, uh, if I buy you something, please don't cut it up. But uh, you can't help yourself. It's like you need to try and experiment and test things. Khantana, who uses her family home to design and make clothes, says designers, especially in Namibia, still struggle to convince customers that locally produced products have the same quality and even better. Well, I wish this industry would be respected a bit more. The hours that goes into actually making something that fits on your body. Because, I mean... You can order a cake here in Ketmans for 400 bucks, but if I ask uh, like 400 bucks for a shirt, people complain. But it's like you're going to eat that cake in two hours, but this shirt you're going to have for years and years. But because your auntie used to make shirts on the farm, you think it's not an art or a skill. In an effort to spread her wings, Hantana ended up in Denmark, where she collaborated with four other women. The experience in Europe, she says, enabled her to refocus. She hopes that people in the creative industry receive the necessary support. If there was more of a support system for artists, and not just we're giving 15,000 here, 30,000 there, but like a real comprehensive from ground up level, like we support art, we support what it means, we support what it's trying to do, we support what it says, even if it's not always comfortable. That whole environment must exist. Artistic expressions and the knowledge that comes with it, according to Hantana, should be harnessed and safeguarded for future generations. Na Tangwijimi NBC News, Kiat Mansuap.